Russia finally can smile. Good bowling. Doesn't he deserve that? He really has worked hard for that wicket there. I thought I heard a little sound though inside edge when I first observed it, but well done to Patel. Let's have a look here. Snip back and it's just hitting me in front. The major question, would that ball have gone on to hit the stumps? And obviously it did. Would have gone on probably leg stump. Good decision. And Udall goes for nine in England at 356 for seven. Matty Hogard, the new man in, can offer resistance. Sound in defence. His average will not suggest a great deal. Starts everywhere. Straight around his own hat trick. He deserves it. Really, really deserves it. Took him a long time to pick up his first wicket. And he picks up two and two. Peach of a delivery. Even a top order batsman would have found it difficult to negotiate this one. A bit of swing. We talked about reverse swing earlier. Feet rooted to the crease. The gap between the bat and pad. Isn't he a happy man? Wasn't a happy man until 10 minutes ago. But India now have right back into this match. Good comeback by the Indian bowlers. Hogarth gone for a first ball duck. It's 356 for eight. Remarkable recovery by India. New man in James Anderson. And we'll be looking to get this on target. He's got a short leg, a short mid wicket, two slips and a gully. Five catches for his hat trick ball. Here he is, Manaf Patel on a hat trick. Nicely <laughs> played by OA Sharp. Firmly driven to mid off. Midoff is deep, but it'll beat Midoff, I think. Terrific piece of timing from Owe Shah. And just a couple of words between Munaf Patel and Shah. Not for the first time today. We've seen uh, Sri Sri Santh having a word or two with Owe Shah as well. That was a beautiful shot. Two men on the fence. And, uh, Still couldn't do anything about that. Uh, the role of a uh, bit of uh, exchange of words. It's healthy at times. Smiling faces.